Добрий вечір тобі, пане господарю, радуйся, ой, радуйся, земле, син Божий народився. Four Kharkiv actors who called themselves a theater battalion came to one of the god posts of the National God of Ukraine in Kharkiv to congratulate the soldiers on Christmas. They also brought a fragment of a new performance in addition to songs and carols. Good afternoon, our dear heroes. We came to you and brought you a gift, a performance that we had put on the day before. It is still new. A small fragment. Congratulations from the bottom of our hearts. So Ukrainian folk farce during the war. We wish you good luck. This is a story about a Russian pilot whose plane is shot down with a slingshot by a little boy in one of the Ukrainian villages. The plot was taken from a Georgian author who had written the play after the Russian-Georgian war. They have been working on it for a month. The actors admit that the play now has a new content dedicated to the events that took place in Ukraine after February the 24th. And it is very important that the first spectators were the Ukrainian military. It was a task, a creative task for our team, especially male part of it, so that we could go to the fields, to the trenches, to the dugouts and greet our defenders, our heroes. This is not the first time our theatre has been doing this. The theatre has been travelling since 2014. We have been under shelling many times in Novoluhansk for five years, when they did not let us perform a play. But this is our work, our creative work, and we are very happy that we joined the congratulations of our servicemen. In addition to the artist, a military chaplain, Father Oleksandr, has also came to the front line. He says that he will celebrate Christmas in the trenches for the first time. He has held a Christmas service and believes that while Ukraine is at war, all the efforts of the people should be directed to victory, and it doesn't matter which church calendar to celebrate this holiday. Whether we celebrate it on December 25th or December 26th or January the 7th, doesn't matter. This is a big, big holiday from the nativity of Christ, so no matter no matter what day we celebrate it, we always greet God, we need God in our souls, and at that we always remember Him. Ihor is one of the six sentinels at the defensive point of the National Guard. He and his fellows have been here since August. Their task is around the clock civilians of the border with Russia, so that enemy reconnaissance groups and their UAVs do not penetrate here. The man says he is grateful to the artist for the moments of joy and positive before the New Year holidays. But so far, all thoughts are busy with what gifts our military is preparing at the front line in order to hold the line and prevent a second attack on Kharkiv. Well, first Firstly, our soldiers stand on the front line. We are more on the defensive, but our guys are fighting greatly. I think that Russians will receive our gifts for the new year. That's for sure. According to both the military and the actors, the main difference of Christmas 2022 was that since the full-scale invasion, Ukraine has turned into a united front line and now everyone has only one desire – to achieve peace and return to their families. <laughs> Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Natalia Bilokudria, Andriy Domovy, UATV News.